Hello friends, this video on inverse trigonometric functions part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 13. Let's take a common example. It says tan inverse 2 by 11 plus tan inverse 7 by 24 is equal to tan inverse 1 by 11. It's very straightforward question. We have this uh, formula, I think. You can see tan inverse A plus tan inverse B formula we have. I think we have used this. So the formula says tan inverse A plus tan inverse B is nothing but tan inverse A plus B minus 1 minus A. So you give the same formula here A is equal to 2 by 11 and B is equal to 7 by 11. So we'll say LHS is my tan inverse 2 by 11 plus tan inverse 7 by b. We'll apply the formula tan inverse a plus tan inverse b. Then this becomes tan inverse a that is 11, 2 by 11 by 7 by 24 by 1 minus 2 by 11 into 7 by 24. So this comes out to be tan inverse, you take common, so you get 11 into 24, 24 into 48, Plus 7 into 11 77 divide by again 11 into 24 and this becomes 264 minus 7 into 2 14. So this comes out to be tan inverse 125. This gets cancelled by 264 minus 14, that is 250. And that is nothing but tan inverse 1 by and that is my purchase. Very simple, just simple application of the formula tan inverse a plus tan inverse b. So what we've done, we saw this question, we saw tan inverse a plus tan inverse b. We just applied the formula and got the answer. Let's take one more example. 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 is equal to tan inverse 3 by 17. So if you see here, there is a trick involved. The trick is it is not tan inverse plus tan inverse, it is 2 tan inverse. So the first thing is we have to convert this 2 tan inverse into tan inverse form and then we can use the formula. So the formula we know is 2 tan inverse x is nothing but tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x power. Correct? So this guy will become tan inverse 2 into 1 by 2x by 1 minus x squared. This will be x squared. 2 tan inverse 1 by 2. So this becomes nothing but tan inverse of, this gets cancelled, 1 minus 1 by 4, that is uh, 3 by 4, and 1 by 3 by 4, that is 4 by 3. So you get this. 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 is this one. Now let's use the formula. So we will see LHS is nothing but tan 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 that is tan inverse 1 by 3 plus tan inverse 1 by 7. Now here also if you see, we will just apply this formula. The one which we have used in the last example, tan inverse A plus tan inverse B is nothing but tan inverse a plus b by 1 minus a b. So this becomes tan inverse a is 4 by 3 plus b is 1 by 7 by 1 minus 4 by 3 into 1 by 7. So this becomes tan inverse of 7 into 321 common, 7 into 428 plus 3 into 1, 3 divided by, if you take again 21 common, this becomes 21 minus 4. 21, 21 cancel. So this becomes tan inverse 28 plus 3, that is 31 by 21 minus 2, that is 70. And that is my answer. So if you see tan inverse uh, 1 by, I mean 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 is nothing but tan inverse 31 by 70. Let's take one more example. If you write this in the simplest form, 
since we are not getting any clue what to do, so let's assume tan inverse x is equal to y. Or x is equal to tan y. So let's take the LHS. I mean, not the LHS, we can write this form only. So this we can write as tan inverse root of 1 plus x is nothing but tan y tan square y minus 1 by x is tan y. So 1 plus tan square y is sec square y and root of sec square y is sec y. So this becomes tan inverse of sec y minus 1 by Now let's put everything in the form of sine and cos because I don't know sec is difficult for me. So I'll put this as right here tan inverse of sec is 1 by cos minus 1 that is 1 minus cos by cos divided by tan by that is sine by cos. Correct? This and this gets cancelled. So this becomes tan inverse of 1 minus cos y by sin y. So till this point we are done. So now we have to write this in the form of tan theta because tan inverse of tan theta only we can break. So 1 minus cos y by sin y. What we can do is that we can write this as nothing but 1 minus cos y is I can write 2 sin square y sin square y by 2 by 2 and sin y I can write as 2 sin y by 2 cos y by 2 how I have done sin y I can write as nothing but sin y by 2 plus y by 2 so this becomes 2 sin y by 2 into cos y by 2 Similarly, 1 minus cos y by 2 plus cos y by 2. So we got this. And if you see here, I get sin and sin cancel. 2 and 2 cancel. So this becomes tan inverse of tan y by 2. And that is nothing but y by 2. What is the value of y? y is tan inverse x. So this becomes 1 by 2 tan inverse x. And that is it. Just we have simplified this tan inverse root 1 plus x square minus 1 by x to 1 by 2 tan inverse x. What we have done, we assume tan inverse x equal to y because we didn't have any other option. We just simplified it and got this one 1 minus cos y by sin y. And we wanted to convert this into the form of tan. So we just wrote sin y as 2 sin y by 2 into cos y by 2 and 1 minus cos y as 1 minus sin square y by 2 sin square by 2. So how we got 1 minus cos phi is 2 sin square by 2, I can prove this. 1 minus cos phi is nothing but 1 minus cos y by 2 plus phi by 2. And this is nothing but 1 minus cos square y by 2 minus sin square by 2. Correct? So this becomes 1 1 minus sorry this becomes sin square y by 2 minus cos square by 2 right sin square y by 2 minus cos square by 2 so this becomes 1 plus sorry 1 minus sin square y by 2 plus I'm doing a big, big mistake here and this correct only cos square y by 2 minus sin square y by 2 because cos a cos u minus sin is b. so this becomes 1 minus cos square y by 2 plus sin square y by 2 correct and 1 minus cos square y by 2 is nothing but sin square y by 2 
and sin square by y2 plus is already there. So this becomes 2 sin square by y2. I think let me write this again here. This is all option. So this is nothing but 1 minus cos a plus cos b is cos square y minus sin square y by 2. Correct? So this becomes 1 minus cos square y by 2 plus sin square y by 2. 1 minus cos square y by 2 is nothing but sin square y by 2. Correct? We know this. So this becomes sin square y by 2 plus sin square y by 2 that is 2 sin square and that is what we have. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.